breaking news now in DeKalb County. We have new details on a deadly plane crash that came into the newsroom just moments ago. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is back at that scene today where we have just learned the names of the two people that were on that plane. Ashley? Tracy, that info into us just 20 minutes ago, we've learned they are 59-year-old Leslie Sasani and 60-year-old Scott Robert Lowry, both men, both from North Carolina. And today we are getting a closer look at the building that was struck by that plane. The plane debris was moved this morning. Could take a look at what it did. Two people dead, several families now displaced because of this. We spoke with a pilot who is breaking down what he believes may have caused this crash. In my right hand, I'm holding a flight path depiction. In my left hand, I'm provided with performance information. Attorney and air show demonstration pilot Alan Armstrong is trying to piece together what caused a Piper Arrow to crash shortly after taking off. At 5,000 feet, he's going 90 knots. At 3,700 feet, he's going 100 and 183 knots. His airspeed is wrapping up. From limited data found on FlightAware, Armstrong believes the pilot lost situational awareness. He makes it to 5,000 feet, and then the aircraft abruptly descends from 5,000 to 3,700. So he's lost 1,300 feet very quickly, and his airspeed has jumped from 78 miles an hour down up to 159 miles an hour. So the airplane is in what we call a graveyard spiral. When the pilot took off from DeKalb Peachtree Airport, it was rainy, misting, and foggy. When you're in the clouds, nothing outside your cockpit matters. All that's going to help you is your artificial horizon, your directional gyro, your airspeed indicator, your manifold pressure gauge. That is all that matters. The NTSB tells us debris spanned 1,000 feet. But as it's moving forward, it's disintegrating because airplanes are not designed to fly through bricks. It's just shredding. So that's why you got a thousand, thousand foot debris fill up. Again, that is not the official cause of this crash. Just some insight from another pilot. The NTSB says it will have a preliminary report on what happened here in one to two weeks. Live in DeKalb County, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Ashley.